right, this is John Colo at DiscountJuicers.com. It's going to be another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do today for you guys is introduce you to the all-new Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer. The Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer is now available in the pearl red color available at DiscountJuicers.com. This is the brand new color that is now available. They had previously come out with the silver model, then they came out with the white model, and now they came out with the pearl red color that's now available. Now, the pearl red color is a little bit different than the other models. It's actually $30 more expensive at this time, and that's because it's different than the other ones and includes a special part that you're gonna learn about in just a little bit. What we're gonna do today is actually we're gonna make my morning breakfast juice, and what we're making today is we're gonna be juicing some pineapples up along with some yellow squash here to make a delicious uh, pineapple squash juice that's out of this world, man. It tastes like the bottled and canned juices that you'd get maybe in Hawaii because it tastes tropical. Plus also you got the, the nutrient hit from the squash, like a nice good water content. Man, it's so delicious and we're gonna see how the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer in red does it. Now before I get into the juicing part of this demonstration, I want to share with you guys some more information about the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer and what truly sets it apart from other juicers on the market at this time. So the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer is a vertical single auger juicer. That means it has one single auger that rotates inside there approximately 60 revolutions per minute. And what it does, it basically, let me go ahead and show you guys actually. What it does actually, this auger inside here, you put the produce in and the produce goes in and the, this produce basically gets squeezed between the auger and the juicing screen in here. And literally it squeezes and rings out the produce so that you can get juice out one side and the pulp out the other. And that's what a juice extractor does. You know, it separates out the juice from the fiber that feeds you, which is what Jay Cordish, formerly known as a juice man, taught me many years ago. And it's the nutrition in the juice is what we really need, right? Uh, many people also need fiber because the standard American diet is actually deficient in fiber. Meat has no fiber, cheese has no fiber, milk has no fiber, right? but it's the vegetables and the plant, foods in the plant kingdom, you know, whole foods that have the fiber. So this is uh, dealing specifically with the juicing. I believe juicing is of major benefit, and yes, I do get my fiber in the day normally at, at night in salads, but in the morning when I'm literally drinking my breakfast or breaking my fast, right, I want something light and easy that's gonna be easy to digest, but also give me energy so that I could perform, you know, throughout the day and more importantly, besides the energy, uh, provide me the nutrition my body needs so I could be as healthy as possible. So these style juicers, in general, while they do separate out the pulp, uh, the all vertical juicers produce a more pulpy juice than other juicers on the market. So I want you guys to be aware of this. If you are coming from like a Breville, you know, high speed juicer, Juice Fountain, Elite, or Juice Fountain, they also have a wide feed chute, you know, like the Kuvings here, but they run at a high speed. They sound like an airplane taking off in your kitchen. This is a slow running machine. It runs literally a thousand times slower than the high speed machines and it's gonna juice certain things better and certain things maybe not as good in terms of yield than the high speed machines from my experience. So be sure to subscribe to my videos if you're not already. I'll soon have a video demonstrating the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer versus the Breville Juice Fountain Elite so you guys could see and learn the differences. So along with that, you know, what really sets the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer apart is a few things. Number one, as I showed you guys, we have a wide three inch feed chute. This makes juicing things a lot easier because minimal produce preparation or chopping and cutting produce will be required. So things like whole apples, whole pears, you know, beets, cucumbers could be all put in here. I mean, even these whole zucchini squash could go right in here literally without any cutting and it's gonna be so much easier. Standard vertical juicers, you will need to probably cut the uh, squash in fours and cut apples into six pieces because they will not fit in. Of course, on any vertical slow juicer, I do recommend you cut up things like the celery and leafy greens like kale and collard greens that have stringy fibrous texture because this will actually stop up the uh, pulp ejection port, clog it up, and then you'll get excessive pulp in your juice. So to learn how to use the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer properly, I do recommend you watch my other videos, how to make a green juice in the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer for my best practices that are actually not in the instruction book 
that comes with the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer. Uh, let's see. Next, let's go ahead and uh, put this guy together real quick, and it's super simple, super easy. You got a juicing bowl here with a spout cap to prevent drips on your counter. You then have a, a wiping blade system that basically goes on the screen and acts like a windshield wiper uh, for the screen here to keep the screen clean and ensure you're going to get the most yield. And uh, there's a little red dot here. You're just going to line that up with the red dot on the top of the machine and it should just uh, drop into place here. Next you have the auger which goes right in and then you have the, uh, the top here that you're gonna line up the red dot here with the red dot there and it just uh, spins into place. And now we're all ready and assembled. Now besides just the juicer, you get a whole lot more with the Kuvings Whole ju Slow Juicer. You know, you get attachments and accessories that are not included with other juicers. So of course with other juicers, you also get your standard collection cups. Uh, actually Kuvings now has a you know, fairly nesting collection cups, which is nice. And uh, this is the one with a little spout for pouring, so that goes to collect the juice. Then we have one here, a little bit larger, to collect the pulp. Uh, next, of course, we have the pusher. I only ever recommend using the pusher to push anything down into the machine. You may be tempted to put your hands in there and whatnot, and if you have kids, if you do get this juice, you do need to supervise them. There is you know, a big warning sticker on here, but kids cannot read, so you need to make sure you supervise your kids because this uh, feed chute is a bit large, and uh, things can easily be stuck down in here. In addition, there's a little safety device here that will not let you stick uh, you know, things in that are uh, too big. So aside from the juicer, I wanna share with you guys what set Kuvings apart from some of the other slow juicers on the market. Uh, first, you get a little um, how to assemble and disassemble quick start guide, which is a uh, Nice and easy review of how to assemble and how to disassemble. I also have videos on this subject to learn specifically how to assemble and disassemble. In addition, you have a warranty information card. That's a 10 full year warranty on this juicer. You know, I do want to encourage you guys as a consumer to buy a juicer with a long warranty. Many inexpensive, cheap juicers that may even look like this have a short one year warranty. And you know, a 10 year warranty is your confidence that your machine will work for the next 10 years to provide you a juice so that you can get healthier, lose weight, and have more energy. Think about it, if you spend a bunch of money, even if it's like you know half the price of this on a juicer that only has a one year warranty, and then in the second year it, it, it doesn't work anymore, you gotta go buy a new one, so then what money are you saving? Whereas with a 10 year warranty, you're totally covered even in year eight and nine, right? Years down the road, you will never have to buy another juicer for the next 10 years provided you know it, it breaks because of manufacturer's defect and no fault of your own. So this is very important to me because, you know, for me, I don't know about you, but the most important thing to me in this whole world is not all the money in the bank, it's my health. Without your health, I've learned at a young age, you have nothing. I nearly lost my life when I was younger. The doctor said that I might not make it out of the hospital alive. And at that point in my life, when I almost lost what was most valuable to me, that's only when I understood what was most valuable. So now, you know, if I need to buy expensive juice or as a one-time investment to benefit my health because it's the most important thing I got, it's totally worth it and I'm going to do it. Besides just the standard Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Instruction Manual, which many uh, you know, juicers come with, which I also in recommend you guys refer to to see how to use it and all the recommended practices to use, um, they also include something that's not common with juicers. And if you're a juicer manufacturer out there listening to this video right now, you should pay attention to this and you guys should also come out with these style books. I mean, this is the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer recipe book. So many people get into juicing or into eating a healthier diet and they get the juicer and they have no clue what to do and with other juicers, pretty much people still have no clue what to do because they give you an instruction booklet but no recipes. With the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer, literally they give you like a hundred page full color recipe book here with all different kinds of recipes to make, including you know fresh juices and frozen fruit sorbets, and here's a red sangria, uh, apple martini. That doesn't sound good. I think it's non-alcoholic. Oh no, they have rum in there. <laughs> but anyways, they give you all different kinds of recipes to experiment with, and once you start experimenting with these, you'll learn what you like, what you don't like, and you'll be able to adjust and modify them and create even more recipes, so you'll have more ideas on how to use your brand new juicer. I mean, this is a critical component that many manufacturers miss, but not so with the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer. You're gonna have this recipe book to guide you through the process 
of eating a healthier diet. And no, I do, do not recommend uh, drinking rum there. <laughs> In addition, you have a couple more uh, little uh, information sheets here that talk about the blank strainer, which is something that not all vertical slow juicers come with. Actually, only a, a few of them come with uh, this right here. And the blank strainer is this piece right here. What this does is you take out the standard juicing screen inside the machine, you put this in its place, and this screen will allow you to make things like the nut butters, like frozen banana sorbet, or what many people call frozen banana ice cream, which is literally you just take bananas, uh, you peel them, you freeze them uh, when they're ripe, and then you pull them out and you put them through the machine after defrosting a little while, and then it makes like a frozen yogurt type consistency out of the spout here. So this is an excellent way to have something nice and frozen that tastes like ice cream, but that is multitudes healthier than the dairy and the ice cream and the mono diglycerides and the corn syrup and all the additives they add to ice cream these days. My message to you is you want to start eating nature's foods, foods found in nature, the fresh fruits and the fresh vegetables are what should be emphasized and what should be de-emphasized in my opinion are all the processed foods, fast foods, junk foods, things in packages, bottles and jars. And literally the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer allows you to eat these fresh fruits and vegetables that are so important for us that in my opinion most Americans are deficient in today. Now besides the blank strainer they got here, the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer PR version, that's what this one is, uh, Pearl Red, also includes this attachment right here that has never been seen before in my videos probably. This is actually known as the smoothie attachment. So don't worry if you already own a Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer and you did not get the smoothie attachment, this can be ordered separately through Kuvings, but with the pearl red version of the juicer, this comes standard. So I actually have not yet used the smoothie strainer to make smoothies in the juicer, so this will keep some fiber in the, in the uh, mixture that you're making, and be sure to stay tuned for an upcoming episode on this. You know. I personally believe that a blender is best for blending and making smoothies and a juicer is best for juicing. And this, you know, may have some pros and cons to it. I tend to like to just buy a good juicer for juicing and a good blender for blending. But this one will allow you to have one appliance that will do kind of both and I'll be testing this real soon. But it's definitely nice that they include a smoothie strainer so that you guys can play with more textures. I mean, that's to me what the juicers are all about. It's about creating different textures. With the juicing screen, you're creating a fine juice texture without the fiber. Uh, with the blank screen, you're leaving all the fiber in there, in the case of nut butters or frozen fruit sorbets. And with the smoothie strainer, you're basically going to strain out all the big, large chunks and only leave the finer particles in there um, You know, when using the smoothie strainer to have different consistencies, because that's also very important when eating food. I guess the, oh, the last thing that sets the cooings apart are uh, these three items here, which are the specialized cleaning brushes. So most juicers maybe only include one cleaning brush, and cleaning is probably one of the most difficult aspects of owning a juicer. People always tell me, John, I hate the cleaning, man, and I need the juicer that's easiest to clean. Well, while the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer is not the easiest juicer to clean by any means, I can say it's one of the easiest vertical single auger juicers to clean because of these three cleaning brushes. So this standard cleaning brush lets you clean the screen, get it clean, and then this uh, little bottle brush here allows you to go in the little ports of the juicer to get them clean. And then they give you a special screen cleaning tool that no other juicer has. Literally you take this screen cleaning tool and whether you got the standard juicing screen or the smoothie screen here, you put it around the, the screen here and then you just rotate it like that and it has all these brushes on here that cleans the screen so that it saves you time and makes cleaning a breeze. So I definitely think Kuvings is doing it right to make your whole juicing experience that much easier. So that's pretty much it for all the different accessories that comes with the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer uh, Pearl Red version. What we're going to do next section, I'm going to get into juicing. I'm getting a bit thirsty here. We're going to juice some pineapple and the squash up. So I'm going to reset and uh, show you guys how I'm going to juice the pineapple and squash in the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer. So now we're going to start juicing in the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer and it really is that easy. Of course, first I recommend washing your produce and then preparing it properly. So for example, on these squash here, I'm going to cut off the bottom section because it doesn't look, I don't know, it looks like there's maybe something growing in there. And then the top section here, so it's very simple, very easy, cut off the top and the bottom. And now this uh, squash is all ready to juice, I mean it just literally fits in the whole machine. 
Now, aside from the squash, we are also juicing the pineapple. So in juicing more than one item in the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer, I recommend you guys rotate the items you're putting in. So don't just juice all the squash and then all the pineapple. I would recommend putting in, you know, a piece of pineapple, a piece of squash, a piece of pineapple, a piece of squash, a piece of pineapple, a piece of squash. And in that way, it's going to work a lot more effectively than just juicing all the pineapple and then all the squash. Because every different produce item has a different texture. And to be straightforward with you, the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer likes hard, firm textures. So when you're going to buy squash or picking it from your garden, you want the nice, hard, firm squash. If the squash is nice and soft and mushy, getting old, it's not going to juice as well as one that's nice, hard, and firm and has a good texture. Likewise with the pineapple. When selecting pineapple to juice, you know, you want to get a nice pineapple that's really hard. I mean, you try to press into it, and you can't press into it because it's nice and hard. These pineapples are a fair bit ripe, which I'm looking forward to, but they're a fair bit soft, so they may not juice optimally. But this is going to show you guys what happens when you juice, you know, produce that's not super hard. It may end up creating uh, more uh, pulp in the juice, and actually it may get stuck ejecting. I personally don't think that's going to happen, but we're not going to know until we try it. So actually, let's get into it. So then on these pineapples, what we need to do is I like to uh, go ahead and remove the top. So I just twist the tops off and you actually, yes, you can plant these into the ground and they will grow a new pineapple if you live in the tropics. If not, you could have them as an indoor house plant and grow these into new pineapples. Um, then what I like to do generally is I like to uh, cut off the top and the bottom of the pineapple here. So we're going to carefully just cut off the top. And then we're going to go ahead and flip that around and we're going to go ahead and cut off the bottom. Once I got the top and bottom cut off, you guys can see what it looks like. I like to put it on the edge of the cutting board, and then I just like to basically go down on it and uh, slice off the skin. You know, while you can juice the skin, I do not necessarily recommend juicing the skin. The skin may get caught in the ejection port. In addition, um, most pineapples, especially if not organic, are definitely sprayed with fungicides and things that you probably do not want to be consuming. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut this skin off and very simply, very easily, as you guys can see, we've cut off all the skin. And uh, that's what we got right now. So we cut off all the skin and here's our skinned pineapple right here. And uh, the hardest part to juice um, for any juicer of pineapple is the hard center core. So what we're going to do is we're going to liberate the core and separate it out. So I'm just going to cut down, cut all the flesh of the pineapple off leaving the core in the middle. The core is that little fibrous part in the middle that if you try to eat it, you know, you're just going to sit there and chew and chew and chew and it's not going to digest. It's full of fiber. And so here's the core here. You can kind of see the little circle on the bottom. What I like to do with this is special and I'm going to hold this back until uh, the end to share with you guys. But now we got all these pieces of pineapple and I like to just cut them up into long sections there so they'll easily fit in the juicer. And now once we got all our pineapple cut and we got our squash ready to go, now we're going to simply start juicing. So one of the things I like about the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer is actually that it's quite quiet. We're going to go ahead and turn this guy on really quiet. We're going to first go ahead and take a piece of pineapple because it's a softer texture than the uh, squash there. Drop that guy in. And as you guys can see, oh, we got to put this little spout cap up. We're getting some instant pineapple juice. Next, we're going to go ahead and take this squash here and put it in and look at that it goes right in gets juice right up we're going to go ahead and use that uh the pusher there to push the uh push it in now we don't necessarily want to push it in right we just want to put the pusher in there and let the juicer accept it at its own rate this is very important if you're trying to cram things in too fast you may be actually overloading the juicer which is not a good thing so that's pretty much gotten juice very quickly and easily. Next, we're going to take another piece of pineapple and drop that in the machine. Next, we're going to continue with some squash, but I'm not going to put the whole squash in. I'm going to stick this squash in, let the juicer take off a couple of chunks, and then pull it out. Do you guys ever do that? Put it in and pull it out. But you can see it's uh, basically cutting off sections of this squash here, juiced a little bit of it. But now we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate and put a little more pineapple in. Then we're just going to go ahead and, you know, Put a little more squash in to kind of rotate, you know, what we're feeding in there. 
And uh, let's see, we're gonna, once again, do the same, a little bit more pineapple, and now I'll put the rest of my squash in there. We're gonna go ahead and continue to rotate in the pineapple, followed by a piece of squash, a nice big piece of squash there. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and follow out with some more pineapple here. So on the Kuvings Holoso juice, you may realize that, you know, on the top of the auger where it's spinning around, there's always a little bit of extra produce that's not getting sucked in. This is just the nature of the Kuvings Holo Slew Juicer. You know, with every juicer, there's always pros and cons. The pro of the Kuvings Holo ju ju Slow Juicer primarily is the wide feed sheet that requires less cutting. One of the cons is that, you know, it does tend to back up a little bit on the top of the feed sheet and things don't, you know, get pushed all the way in like they would on other slow juicers that have a smaller feed chute. Now I want to deal with this last piece of pineapple here. This is the core. This is the part that actually, if you just put this in whole, it will definitely stop up the uh, juicer port here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut it. So I like to cut it lengthwise in one, two, uh, three pieces. Once we cut it lengthwise that direction, we're going to flip it up on its side and we're going to cut it uh, this way twice. And this makes basically uh, long uh, sticks out of the pineapple core there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it lengthwise and dice these guys up. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to break up the fibers to the best of my ability so that it will not get stuck in the ejection port in the Kuvings whole slow juicer. I will also use this technique with other vertical auger juicers as in my opinion it is required for optimal results. Once we got that done then we're just going to go ahead and dump these guys in the Kuvings whole slow juicer to juice right up and we should see a nice uh, stream of pulp coming out because this is really going to help clean out that uh, pulp out of the machine. The other thing you may notice when using the Kuvings whole slow juicer or other vertical single auger juicers is that you know when you first started juicing uh, this ejection port pulp was coming out of the whole thing and now that it's been running a while pulp is maybe only coming out a quarter of it and three quarters of it is clogged. That's completely normal and it's all right, and as long as pulp is still flowing out, you're good to juice. And this is just a part of the design in the uh, vertical slow juicers. Wow, look at that, we juiced uh, literally one pineapple and uh, three squash, and we have a whole pitcher full of juice that's just about overflowing. So we're gonna go ahead and stop right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, strain out that juice for you guys. All right, so to straighten out the juice, I'm gonna use basically a nice large blender craft here, and then I just have a standard sieve. This is one of the items that Kuvings should include with their juicer, but they are not at this time. Uh, this is the way I like to get the pulp out of the juice. Now, drinking the pulp is not an issue. Many people don't mind the pulpier juice. You know, it's my taste preference. I don't like the pulp in my juice, and so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. What I like to do with the strained off pulp, if it's like a vegetable pulp, is actually feed it to my dog. He loves it a lot, actually mixed in with his uh, kibble. And so what we're gonna do is carefully come over here. We're gonna put this spout cap down to prevent any drips. We're gonna carefully lift this stuff up. And yes, we did create some foam as well. And we're gonna be carefully pouring this guy in and uh, filtering out you know, all the, all the pulp and all the foam there. All right, so far we're pouring this stuff through and it's catching a fair bit of pulp. I mean, I would say the Kuvings does leave a fair bit of pulp in the juice and this is something you will want to be aware of. And I mean, this is a situation easily solved with a little strainer like this and just straining it. I like to kind of move the strainer back and forth as I'm pouring the juice through. I find this works fairly well because if you just dumped all the juice in the strainer without moving it, it just wouldn't actually strain out as quickly. This is working quite well here. We're just gonna go ahead and continue to to shake and strain. All right, so I'm just about done straining out all the juice. It's definitely gotten a lot, and then it has created some pulp there. I wanna show you guys what, that, what that's created there. There's a little nice pulp patty. You know, this is about on par with what other uh, vertical single auger juicers make. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on what you're specifically juicing. But I want you guys to be aware of this. I mean, every juicer has its set of pros and cons. Things that it's good about and things that it's bad about. The manufacturers would want you to believe that their ju juicer does everything the best. But I just show you guys like it is. I mean, this is the pulp that came out of my juice. This is the juice I'm drinking. This is how it works. And I do that in all my videos. And I compare juicers side by side in many cases and show you guys the pulp in one, the pulp in the other, so that you guys can determine which juicer best meets your needs because your needs may be different than my needs. In many cases, actually, I turn to the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer in my very kitchen so many times when I'm juicing a recipe like this where I have a lot of fruits with some vegetables. I mean, it does a great job of that in my opinion 
as well as I like the cleaning brushes, as well as the uh, recipe book that can help get you guys started. So uh, let's see here, I got my straightened out juice, let's go ahead and pour an ice juice. I don't advocate beer, but I advocate uh, pineapple squash juice that looks like beer. So check it out, that nice, fine consistency. Oh, we even got a nice head on it, like I would a drunk when I was in college. All right, let's try this stuff. Wow. Muy bueno. That's all I got to say about that, man. Like, this tastes like a Hawaiian punch drink or Hawaiian pineapple tropical drink. I mean, all it has is one pineapple, three squash. Maybe what even did a two squash, two nice slices. Nice large size squash really mellows out that pineapple suit. It's not super sweet and it's just super good. And look at that color, man. You gotta love that color on it. And this is all possible today due to the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer now available in red. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to future videos when I'm using that special smoothie screen as well as the uh, blank plate to make frozen fruit sorbets and do other things in the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer. I've enjoyed my experience today, it works really well. If you're considering a vertical single auger juicer, I highly encourage you guys, you know, the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer with the wide three inch feed chute makes juicing real easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. Lakayo. All right, this is Joe and Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a pulp juice off. Yeah, so it's a little different than a yield juice off. But we're still going to check the yields. Uh, you know, I recently got a customer that said, Hey, John, you know, 